so like i don't know how to start this because i haven't talked in front of a camera for like a really long time so sorry if i'm awkward but hey what is up you guys um what's up some of you that know me was good I'm, I'm here I'm, I'm here for those that you don't know me hi I don't know what the hell that was what hi I'm Gia um I've been gone these last couple months I know a lot of you are like wondering like what happened to me like why haven't I been posting so this video is basically gonna be just me saying what's been happening within pretty much the past nine months that I haven't really been active on here. You know, I posted a couple of things within time, but, you know, they've been really, like, framed out and spaced out and just, like, not really me, like, being on a schedule. So some of y'all probably, like, follow me on, like, my social media, like, my Twitter, where I'm always talking about what's happening in my life, or maybe you follow me on my Instagram, or maybe you really, like, don't go on any of those, so you have no clue what's going on. You're probably just, like... Where is bitch at, you know, so. This video is just gonna kind of me just like be talking about what's been happening in my year, what's going on in my life. So you guys just can kind of get a sense of the loop, you know. So, first thing, you can probably tell, I'm like super pale. Um, I've lost like all of my color. First of all, I didn't go anywhere this summer, which probably like, damn, you didn't go anywhere this summer. You know, you could have made some content. You know, that was the plan, yeah. Um, but, you know. I lost my color. I don't go to tanning beds anymore. I didn't really go to them anyways. I just kind of like to maintain like my tan color and not look like sickly pale like how I do right now. Hi sisters! <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you see me looking more like a ghost than usual... Mind your business. So, beginning of the year in January, I started school for aesthetics. And if you don't know what aesthetics is, it's basically, um... A field where you do everything regarding to skin so I went to school for aesthetics and my program was nine months but I finished it in eight and it was just a really long program you know it really wasn't that long realistically but I mean it just felt like it was so long because I just finished I was going to school five days a week from 9 a.m. to 2 30 and then I went to work from, you know, 4.30 to 10.30, some days 11.30, and I just became, honestly, just really tired with going to school and then working, because I also had to pick up more shifts at work, so I was working pretty much almost full-time while also going to school full-time, so during that time, it kind of just took a lot out of me, physically and mentally. I just didn't feel like doing anything. I didn't feel like filming anything or putting anything out, you know, because I was just constantly tired. But during that time, like, in school, I tried to do, like, some things for you guys, like, filming at shows, like, you know, my pretty much vlog that I did, and, like, some stuff here and there, but, you know, it was just, it was just so long. Like, the school year was just, it felt so long, especially because I've been out of school for two years since I graduated high school, and it was just hard going back, honestly. But you know, that was that was pretty much like all that I've been doing. And then I would try to get some free time to spend with my friends or like, you know, people that I care about. And that's what I would do in, in the, the small free time that I had. So, you know, like making videos and content wasn't really much of an option, especially because I also felt like I didn't want to make any videos or content if I wasn't like 110% myself, like if I didn't feel good or I didn't feel like myself, which a lot of the times I didn't feel like myself, so I didn't want to like project that onto the camera for you guys. And I mean, that was like about it, you know, in the summer, um, the summer was a bit difficult for me because my whole family went to Greece and it was basically just me and my brother here and we had to take care of like a lot of responsibilities that we normally don't have to take care of regarding like um, my parents business and household stuff so it was just very like overwhelming and hectic because I had so many responsibilities that I had to do so 
you know, and I was still in school and working, so it's like all that stuff, plus all these extra responsibilities that I had to do for two months by myself, it was just like a lot, so I, like in the summer I was like, shit, I really like can't do anything, which I mean, you know, it happens, it's life. Not much really happened besides that stuff, you know, I had a couple things in between, like some events and stuff, those were really nice, those really kind of helped me like break between like the school and my job, like just constantly doing those two things. More recently, I've kind of been getting really into TikTok, you know, and I like TikTok because, okay, I used to hate on it all the time, but I actually like TikTok because now it's more like Vine and, you know, I always said like I wish Vine didn't die because I feel like Vine would have been my thing because, you know, I'm one of those people where it's like I can only be funny for like three seconds and then it's over, like the joke's done, it's dead. But, you know, I feel like it's so much harder on YouTube for me to, like, I don't know, like, be funny. Which, I mean, everyone tells me I'm a naturally, like, funny person. But I feel like, for me personally, when I'm funny, it's, like, because I say something funny, like, out of nowhere. And it's, like, three seconds long and that's it. That's why I felt like Vine was, like, such an important thing for me. Like, career-wise, career? Did I get Career-wise, like, if I wanted to pursue, like, social media more. Um... Which will get more into like my career, like what I'm trying to do right now. Um, so yeah, I've kind of been on TikTok more just because it's also easier to film a video. And just, I don't know, ideas pop in my head. I bounce off other people's ideas. And also, not only that it's easier for me to like post up because it's so short and I don't have to edit anything. Also, I just do it without makeup. I don't know if y'all know, I used to wear makeup like all the time. And now I've just gotten to the point where like I don't give a shit. Like, I just don't give a shit, okay? Like... I, I, I'm wearing makeup right now. Like, I'm wearing a full face right now. The most makeup I've been wearing the past, like, four months is just, like, mascara in my eyebrows, and that's it. But, like, I've been struggling with acne my whole life. It's cleared up so much since I've been in school. You know, I still got, like, a couple issues with my skin, but, you know, for the most part, I never wear makeup, and if I do, I never wear, like, concealer or foundation just because, like, no, not only am I, like, more confident with myself, but I am so just... I'm so lazy, like, I'm putting that shit out. I'm just so lazy, like, I'm so tired of it. So I'm just like, well, I don't know if they're ready to see me without makeup on my channel. So it's, like, one of those things. So, I don't know. Maybe, like, when I get to the point where I'm more comfortable with my skin, like, being shown that way on camera, maybe I'll start, like, doing more videos like that. I don't know. I want to do, like, a skincare routine video, but, like, my skin's, like, not where I want it to be yet to where I should show that you know I don't know but um anyway so yeah I just get too lazy to get ready today was kind of just random I wasn't even planning on wearing makeup today I just wanted to because I waxed my lip and it got really red and I wanted to cover it up because it was really red it was bothering me speaking of my lips I got filler again I finished school like middle of September September 17th or something was my last day that I finished and, you know, I've just kind of been, like, doing my thing right now. I've been so lazy. I've been going to work, and that's about it. And I'm trying real soon to get a job in my field. So, like, aesthetics. Basically, we can do, like, pretty much a lot of stuff. We do facials, we do waxing, we do makeup. We could do, like, so many, like, different things. Like, I could even work, like, in a plastic surgeon's office and do, like, laser and, like, all this cool stuff. Dermal plating, microneedling, like, all those cool stuff that you guys see on Instagram. All those cool like facials and treatments and stuff like that so I'm just working right now on hopefully getting a job in the field because it's something I'm really passionate about and I really enjoy as far as social media that's something that I still want to continue to do because I'm also really passionate about like social media but I don't want it to be my main focus because I also want to progress in the industry that I'm gonna be working in but I'm gonna see if there's ways where I can make both of those kind of collide so you guys might see maybe on this video not on this video on my channel more like um, makeup related or skincare related like that kind of content like incorporated so let me know what would you think about that because you know that's like who I am like I'm so passionate about skincare and makeup and like all that stuff y'all so I mean if you see me turning into a beauty room mind your business okay this weekend I was supposed to go to juice crate in Nashville to see my friend Wes, but he couldn't go anymore, so I, I didn't go. And it was just a bunch of TikTokers, and I probably would have hated myself if I went. So, um, I haven't really been doing anything lately, so that's about it. It seems like I've been doing so much more since I've been gone, but I really haven't done shit. Um, 
my biggest accomplishment has just been finishing school and that's it i'm surprised i made it i'm surprised i'm not a beauty school dropout i'm gonna do my best to kind of try to get out of this creative rut i just also want to think of like ideas that you know are out of the box but you know when i do think of out of the box ideas they just flop so it's like sometimes it's discouraging like doing youtube but you know i know there's at least somebody that enjoys my videos so you know I'm gonna try my best to get back on track and do this stuff for y'all because it's only a weekly thing. It's really not that much. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna try to get some stuff for you guys because I do need to be more productive because I'm really not doing everything I should be doing. Like, I'm so drained now for no reason. Like, I don't do shit. I go to work and then I sleep in the rest of the day. Like, I don't do anything. So, I'm gonna do my best to get some content for you guys. Um, yeah, I'm filming this Sunday night, which normally I would post this on a Sunday. But, you know, Friday, I just, like, Friday, I just didn't feel like doing shit. Like, I was so terrible Friday. Like, I just, like, depression mode activated. Like, seasonal depression. I just, like, couldn't do anything. Like, I just literally woke up, didn't even wash my face, stayed in my pajamas all day. Like, literally. I just, I didn't want to exist on Friday. So, we're doing it now because I feel much better. But, yeah, I'm going to stop talking because I feel like I've, I've done a lot of talking in this video. It's probably really long. And the editing is going to suck. Um, the editing might suck because it's been a while, you know, so my hands need a little, you know, a little practicing. If you guys like this video, you know, if you like me talking ASMR, um, hit the hit the like button. I'm also going to hit the bell button. Hit the like button, you know, and you can go down you hit the little bell button. And there's a subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the little bell button. That's right next to it's going to go. And you're going to know when I post. Whenever. Hopefully weekly. We'll see. Um, you guys can also check out my social media. You know, all the way at the bottom. I I post pretty much all the time on Twitter. I'm there 24-7, I swear. Um, I got my Instagram. I got my Snapchat. I got my TikTok. Yeah, because that's popping right now. TikTok's a good time. So you guys can go ahead and check me out on those. And yeah, that's, that's about it. Just want y'all to know. That I hope you're all doing great. If for some reason you're in a rut right now, you're going through my streets, going through it. You're gonna be okay, I promise. Um, because you know, it'd be like that. It's, it's like that sometimes, you know. But we gonna get through it. We gonna be alright. Okay, okay, that was rude. My camera ran out of memory. Uh, but anyways, all I wanted to say was, y'all are gonna be okay. We're gonna be fine. Okay. And I will see you soon with a brand new video. So until then, peace out. Take hold of me. You're flowing through my own like ecstasy. Ecstasy.